Hello everyone. I hope all of you are having a great time. And I am back with another question. And we have no. It's not another lead code daily challenge. Rather, I was just trying some of the contest problems, and I witnessed an interesting question. So I thought of sharing that question with you guys. I hope you'll also enjoy this question. So let's look at the question number three. Count nodes with highest score. Let's try and understand this question. In the here, we are given a binary tree. and we need to identify the maximum number of nodes that have the highest score how do we calculate the score of a node to find out the score of a node consider if the node and the edges connected to that node are all removed the tree would become one or more empty subtrees the size of the subtree is the number of nodes it has the score of a node is a product of the sizes of all those subtrees sounds slightly confusing let's try and understand it by an example here this is a tree that is given to me and if i remove the zeroth node what is the state of this complete tree it is divided into two subtrees 1 2 3 1 another 4 what would be the score of this zeroth node the score would be equal to the number of nodes that are present in this subtree into the number of nodes that are present in this subtree so number of nodes that are present in the left subtree is 4 uh, is 3 the number of nodes that are present in its right subtree is 1 so 3 into 1 gives me 3 so score of 0 is 3 we will do it for all the other nodes that are present in this input tree and we need to identify the number of nodes that have the highest score we need to return its value sounds interesting yeah so now let's look at the presentation that i have created for this and i'll be explaining the approach as well as the question in detail in the ppt count nodes with the highest score lead code 24049 it's a medium level question on lead code and i also feel the same so the question says identify the nodes with maximum score how do we identify the score of each node you need to delete that node from the tree and you need to identify the number of subtrees that that get formed the score of each node will be equal to the sizes of those subtrees so let's take all these nodes one by one in the first case we remove zero and these are the two subtrees that gets generated uh, what is the size of the left subtree the size of the left subtree is 3 the size of the right subtree is 1 so 3 into 1 is 3 so score of 0 is 3 let's remove one from the tree so one gets removed what is the state of the updated tree it has only one part and the size of that part is 4 so what is the score of one the score of one is 4 let's move ahead next we go and remove the second node so this gets removed and what is the state of the updated tree it's something like this as shown in the image we have the tree divided into three parts uh, the first part has a count 2 the second part has a count 1 the third part has a count 1 so what is the score of this particular node it is the multiplication of these three values 2 into 1 into 1 which is 2 let's move ahead in case we remove 3 from the tree what is the state of the tree this edge is removed and the state is something like this how many nodes are left four nodes are left so the score of 3 is 4 let's progress ahead now in this case 4 is removed this is removed and this edge is gone by virtue of this what is the state of the updated tree it's something like this what is the score of 4 the score of 4 turns out to be 4 by virtue of having four nodes in the updated tree so score of 4 is also 4 so what do we see we can see that the maximum score possible is 4 and how many such nodes have a score of 4 one is the node 4 itself the second one is node 3 itself and the third one is node 1 so three nodes have a total of score of 4 units the answer becomes 3 now comes the question how can we actually solve this up so let hypothetically assume that in the input question a tree was given to us 
not it's a slightly different variant to what question says but for a second let's assume that the tree itself was given to us what do we do in the first step the question itself gives a hint that you need to identify the number of nodes contained in each subtree so the first thing that we are going to do we'll count the number of nodes contained within each subtree we will be using the post order reversal left right info for this purpose because for calculating the count of any root node we will need to know the count of its left subtree and the count of its right subtree so let's start the iteration uh, we'll go in the leftmost direction first we come over here the number of nodes contained with this node is 0 0 uh, one contributes to this particular node so the number of nodes contained within the subtree is 1 now we will go in its right direction its sibling 1 the number of nodes contained between within this node is 1 the number of nodes contained within this 2 is 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 3 we will go in its right child 0's right child and the number of nodes contained within 4 is 1 the number of nodes contained within 0 is 1 plus 3 plus 1 which is 5 so let's hypothetically assume that we have calculated this information and now what we are going to do we need to remove each edge one by one each node one by one and we need to identify the score of that node so let's start with the very basic uh, also we know that the total number of nodes that exist in the tree happens to be equal to 5 even before taking one test case, I want to reiterate to one of the probable iteration that I did. Let's look at this particular case where we were we have removed the second node from the tree. In the worst case, how many subtrees can be generated? There are three edges that we can foresee: one, two, and three, which can be connected to any node in the tree. In the worst possible case, so at max three possible subtrees will get formed. In this case, one subtree would be this, the other subtree would be this, and the third subtree would be this. And we know the count of nodes in its left subtree. We know the count of nodes in its right subtree. What we are interested in, we are interested in identifying the count of nodes in its parent subtree. So once we have this count available to us, we can multiply these three up to calculate the score of two. And this is what we are exactly going to do. So let's go back to the test case iteration. And how do we calculate the number of nodes that will exist in the parent connection? So this part of the subtree. Let me write the formula. We know the number of nodes in this part of the subtree. And we know the number of nodes in this part of the subtree. So let's try to build that formula. We know the total number of nodes that we have is T. So what we can do, we can simply subtract the number of nodes in its left subtree. So let me just write TL. We are going to subtract the number of nodes in its left subtree. We are going to subtract the number of nodes in its right subtree. And we will remove one node, which is two from the current tree. So we are subtracting one there. What is the value that we got? We got T minus TL minus TR minus one. And this value will signify the number of nodes that exist in this parent subtree. Once we have its value, we can multiply these three up together to get the score of 2. Let's do it. What is T in this case? T is 5. So 5 minus what is TL in this case? 1. What is TR in this case? It's again 1. And the last part is again minus 1. So 5 minus 3 gives us my 2. So we'll multiply 2 with 1 and 1. So the total score for node 2 would be 2, which is in sync with the expected result. So here the score was 2 into 1 into 1, which is as expected. And you can do it for the rest of the cases. Uh, the only caveat here is whenever the value turns out to be 0, for any of the node, uh, the parent value or the left child value, you need to skip that. Let's take one case each. So let's assume that we want to calculate the score of this particular three node. What is the score of its left child? Zero. What is the score of its right child? It's zero. So let's use the same formula. Five minus zero minus zero minus one. So the parent node will have four nodes. 
so that would be the answer in those cases we will not multiply 0 and 0 with it let's take another case where we want to identify the score of this particular node so let's use the same formula 5 minus what is it tl in this case tl is 3 what is tr in this case it's 1 minus 1 so that would turn out to be 0 that means there will be no nodes in its parent which is absolutely correct so we need to skip this what would be the score for 0 it would be equal to 3 into 1 which is in sync with the expected result so the score for 0 is 3 the score for 3 is 4 and we have also solved it for 2 we know how to do it now we'll use the same approach to actually build our algorithm and in the question the data structure is given in a form of an array what we will do we'll first convert it into a tree and then use the same manipulation that i showed here to come up with the approach moving on to the coding section here i have defined my own tree node it has four attributes the first one is left child the other one is right child the third one is score in long and the fourth one is the total node count that this tree has i have defined a private helper method to count the number of nodes in this part of the tree which is passed as root this is simple recursive post order traversal method that we have written you can go through it by yourself let's look at the code method so let's look at count highest score nodes and it accepts the parents in the form of an input array i have defined a max variable that will help me identify the maximum possible score in the tree i have defined n as the num length of the total parents that i have a variable to store the answer which is a count of nodes that have the maximum score i created my own tree node of size n because at max it will there will be n nodes in the tree i have initialized it one by one i have created or built a tree using the data that was given to us in the parents you can attach tree dot parent id dot left if it happens to be null uh, to the first element that you witness if it is it has already been will it has already been filled in you can attach to its right pretty simple and straightforward because at max there will be two nodes that will be the parent of one particular node then i went ahead and counted the number of nodes starting from the root so this recursive call will automatically calculate the number of nodes for all the node all the edges that are there in the tree let's look at the core helper method we start from zero goes up till the parent dot length initialize a product variable counted the three variables left count right count and parent count using the formula that we have already discussed n minus one minus left count and right count if my left count happens to be greater than zero i multiplied product if my right counts happen to be greater than zero i multiplied with product if my parent count happens to be greater than zero i multiplied with product in the end i set it to my tree node and i find out the maximum possible product out of all the iterations once i'm done i hold I know the max variable will hold the maximum possible product score and if it have and we will go and ahead and count the number of nodes that hold such value uh, with each iteration we will compare if my tree score at the ith node is equal to max I will increment my answer variable in the end we will simply return the answer variable. Let's try this up. Accepted 26 milliseconds 100 times faster. I hope you enjoyed today's question. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.